Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really cool docking station from Oriku. Probably you already know the brand. If you don't, I will leave a link down below. But besides docking stations, they have quite a few interesting devices, docking stations, storage, expansion, connectivity and so on. So totally worth it to check it out. And of course, the link for this docking station down below. Now, if you are looking for Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home Edition or Pro Edition keys, don't forget to check out Keys Fan, where we can find budget and official OM keys. And with the coupon code, you will get Windows 10 Pro at roughly seven US dollars or Windows 11 Pro at roughly 13 US dollars. So check the link down below and also the coupon code just in case you want to check that out. Now, if you want to check out a setup like I did with my MacBook Pro and this Oracle docking station, it was a really interesting surprise because although the specifications mentioned 4K at 60 Hertz, I was able to get on an ultra wide display, which I will leave a link down below as well, a resolution of 3440 by 1440 at 144 Hertz, which is the maximum refresh rate of this particular display. So I was really happy and that was the first test that I did. The rest I will share with you in just a few moments. In terms of the docking station itself, it has a really nice look. And if I show it to you a little bit closer, it's made of this aluminium brushed aluminium alloy. It has these grills right over here, which will act as a dissipator. Actually, it will all be a dissipator. So it will have a little bit heat because it's powered and it will have a lot of data, but it really looks nice and in terms of build quality total solid really nice it also has these rubber feet right on the bottom so that we can put it on a surface on the picture it also shows that we can put it on the sides but i honestly prefer it like this in terms of connectivity it has a lot i believe that there are 15 uh, connections i will show you the front of the docking station and instead of explaining which connections we have right over there I will put a subtitle right over there which is probably a little bit better and we will save time now i also do the same for the back and we have a lot of connections which is awesome so if you need a little bit more time just pause the video and you will see all the details right over there now that's all theory and if you follow the channel for quite a while you know that I enjoy testing everything so that's what I did the first test I already shared with you was the display port output I was able to get on the ultra wide 144 Hertz which is great if you are working with 4k then 60 Hertz which is what's right over here now the first test that I did was with the Sabrent SSD Thunderbolt SSD which has great speed so I was able to get on the Thunderbolt connection roughly 2500 megabytes per second which is the maximum of that particular SSD which is one of the fastest external SSDs on the market. Now I also tested the USB Type-C on the front which is 10 gigabits and guess what I was able to get 1000 megabytes per second reads and on write. Tested also the USB Type-A which also has 10 gigabits and exactly the same on, on that connection i was able to get even though it's usb type a the technology is the same so we are getting 1000 megabytes per second then testing out the usb type a with 5 gigabits we're getting roughly 500 megabytes per second and to be honest the usb type 2 uh, i didn't test it as 480 megabits which at this moment in time it's not that interesting unless we want to connect any peripheral like a mouse or a keyboard then i would suggest the usb type a 2.0 now for those of you that are wondering okay robert it's really cool looks really nice all those speeds great but what should I do with one of those things or how can I use one of those things? In my opinion, we have at least two ways, probably more, but two ways that I see how to use. One of which is exactly the one that I did show you with a laptop such as this one, which has a few Thunderbolt connections, three in this particular case, that I can take to office. And then when I arrive home, I want to work instead of the display, I want to have a bigger display I want to use a regular keyboard a more comfortable mouse and I want to have all the connectivity ready for me to plug with one cable 
will charge my laptop. I did forget to mention that. It will charge up to 60 watts on the uh, first power delivery port and 15 watts on the bottom one. By the way, if we connect two devices, it will charge up to 60 at maximum. So it will deliver the power between both, but with a maximum of 60. Now that's out of the way, which is really important. When I connect one single cable, I will have access to everything that it's connected right over here. Ethernet connection and my SSDs and my peripherals, my display and so on and so forth. So it's effortless, just one cable and that is it. The other way that I see, and I've been using it for quite a few years, at this moment you guys know that I do have the Mac Studio, which has a few more connectivity than the previous Mac Mini that I also had. So over the years on that kind of computer, which was really small, really nice to put beneath a shelf and hide it and it would also hide the few ports that it had. So my solution was to always use docking stations. I did share a few with you and this is one of those that I see for that kind of user which is just great. With one single cable I will be able to have a lot of connectivity. Now one thing that we should have in mind is in my particular case I can take full advantage of the Thunderbolt connectivity right over here in terms of speeds. As you could see, I have an SSD that goes up to 2,500 megabytes per second. This is something that you will not be able to get on USB Type-C docking station. So, in your particular case, you will have to decide if you need a Thunderbolt docking station or USB Type-C docking station because the prices will vary a lot. Just a single cable, it's expensive. I did purchase one a few months ago, one meter and a half if I'm not mistaken. It was about 70 euros US dollars. So as you can see, something expensive. Thunderbolt is expensive. It's worth it if we take advantage of it. And before I forget, don't forget to check the link down below for this particular unit. And of course, Orico also has USB Type-C, so you can check out those that are a little bit cheaper. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George. This is the Oreco Thunderbolt 3 docking station. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.